So what's going on, guys? Um, man, I look tired. Yeah, it's, uh... <sighs> look at that biceps getting lean, man. Getting lean. But, um... What was I going to say now? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. Um, I had a really long work day yesterday. I didn't get home until like 9.30. Just late, late, late. And uh, basically watched some of the fights from Bellator on Spike for a little bit, and then I passed out. Um, I'm going to show you my progress video in a second, but I just wanted to do a quick intro here. Uh, I was kind of ranting in the latter half of this video. I was very angry and I was just very upset um, that... You know, part of this whole YouTube thing and, and me giving my opinion and my advice on some of the fitness things that go on is, is for the benefit of the people. And, you know, I do it because I actually care and um, not because I'm looking to be YouTube famous or make a living off of YouTube. I just think there's a lot of crap that goes on that needs to be dismissed and because I think it's dangerous advice where people are going to get hurt and also it's unrealistic. And um, I just want to weed out the garbage. I mean, there's a lot of good information out there, too, but I just specifically want to pick on the garbage as much as possible. And, um, you know, John and I spend a lot of time educating ourselves, talking to people um, who are very well educated and versed and will be the closest thing I would say to an expert um, in the world of fitness. And... Uh, you know, we do our own educating and our own researching, and we do things on our own sometimes trial error to see what really works or what we think works. And um, we take the time to relay that to you. And, uh, you know, John coaches full-time, and uh, I'm thinking about coaching in the near future, but not, um, not for contest prep. I, I won't go near that. There's just too much that goes into it, and um, I just I'd rather not. I'd just rather get, help somebody get fit, but I don't ever want to – I don't know if I'm ready – or want to do contest prep for someone, but you know, um, since we've earned this reputation of being the fitness guys and the fitness gurus, even though I'm not a guru, um, I, I do have a pretty solid foundation. But I know there's a lot more to learn. There's always more to learn, and I'm always working on improving myself. So I'm not going to say that I'm perfect. I'm not even close to it. But everybody wants everything for free, and it's just it doesn't work that way. Um, you know, we relay the best information we can, but when it comes to really putting our time into effort to someone, there is a cost that comes with that, guys. That's a reality. There's nothing in this world that's worth learning um, and doing that's really free. I mean, just plain and simple. If you go to a lawyer and ask for their professional advice and they assist you in whatever issue that you have, there's a fee. If you go to a doctor um, and you want them to diagnose what is wrong with you and how they're going to fix it and perform the surgery. They don't do that for free. They they charge you. Um, and I think it's unfair to ask people who are going to help you, assist you with your nutrition and your workout plans, to then come and ask for it to be done with free. You know, for free. You're obviously having a problem. We're bringing in our expertise to help you and you know offer a solution and right some wrongs you've been doing and get you on the right path to achieve your goals. That's a lot of time, and that's a lot of effort to do those things. So there's a fee, and that was the part of my rant. Um, so don't take it too far out of context on where I went on this, but enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, talk to you later. What's going on, everybody? Robinson DUP here. Just wanted to do another quick update. Weighed in this morning at 200 pounds, so guess what, babe? It's two pounds down in the past week. Um, I know I had mentioned my coach is going to change my macros. Let me move this window up so you guys can hear me. He didn't really touch it much. I think I lost about five grams of carbs on a training day. And um, he lowered my carbs a little bit on the off day. And then my refeed, instead of doing 480, I'm doing 470. But it was a good significant move of two pounds. I've only been doing me like a pound a week or so. Um, looking really lean. What do you think, babe? Yep. Looking lean? Looking lean. Um, just another thought since I like to ramble on these. Uh, and it's just, it, it just pisses me off that I don't know, I don't know what it is with everybody, but everybody thinks you should get things for free, um, and it, it, it irritates the shit out of me. Let me give you an example. My coach and I, and even my wife, for, uh, get asked a lot of questions and about of our opinions or what we think on certain topics regarding fitness, uh, nutrition, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And everybody wants us to create plans for them, 
but nobody wants to pay for it. And I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to go to a doctor, you have to pay them for the visit. If you were to hire a personal trainer, you have to pay them to train you. Um, and if you want to get the knowledge of how to live this lifestyle and actually get results, then I suggest that you probably look into somebody who you're going to have to pay because they've gone out and they've gotten the knowledge, whether it's through trial and error on their own, or for exa example, my coach and I spend a lot of time talking to um, other coaches in the industry that we, since we're on the same page as them, they are willing to talk to us. And even my coach John goes out to seminars and whatnot, and he pays for these things so that he can learn more about how to be a better coach, learn more about mobility, learn more about how to improve movement patterns, uh, motor recruitment, um, central nervous system, nutrition, all that kind of stuff. And it's really unfair to us that people keep wanting more and more and more of our time but they don't want to pay for it. And let me give you an example. For instance, I obviously I have a YouTube channel for those of you who are subscribed that are watching this right now. And occasionally I'll get the complaint of, you don't really care about the people because you monetize your channel and I gotta watch a 10 second ad before one of your videos. Okay, the amount of pennies I make per 1,000 views on those videos isn't enough for me to make that much money or even make a living off of. So deal with the 10 second ad, um, I'm sorry. For the little bit that I get paid, it's, it's not even, it's not even worth the value of what I'm giving you on camera, trust me. And if you add your own channel and you monetize it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So get off our backs that we monetize our channels. Two, I'm getting really tired of people always saying, well, uh, I, I wanna work with you, but I can't afford it. Uh, I wanna do this, but I can't that. That is a load of shit if I've ever heard one. Because I watch what you spend your money on, okay? You have time to go spend your money on crap food. You have time to go spend your money on, I don't even know what else bullshit clothes that you don't need, um, TVs, other things, all about lifestyle, because obviously that's more important than the one thing you're going to be stuck with with the rest of your life. You ever notice that, babe? People take better care of their car, which will be gone in several years, than they actually do it with their body, which they're going to have for their entire life. What are the things do most people have for their entire life? Anything? Nope. Anything? No. Nothing. So the one, the one thing that we're stuck with that we can't physically get rid of is our own body. So why would we not take care of it with proper nutrition and exercise? Now, I'm not saying everybody has to be a bodybuilder or look like a model. That's not the point of this conversation. But if health is truly a priority to you, then it takes consistency and dedication. And I'm not talking the stupid Instagram, I went to the gym three times this week and took a, a selfie of myself dedication. I'm talking about day in, day out, being aware of your nutrition and training the way you're supposed to train. If you want to get results, you got to put the time in. It's not a half-assed effort, and then you get to complain about it. I'm really sick and tired of people complaining about shit when they aren't willing to change the behavior to change the pattern. If you're not willing to do what it takes, like I do or what my wife does, what John does, to actually educate yourself on nutrition and be in the gym when you're supposed to be in the gym and do what you're supposed to do, then you no longer, I hereby revoke your right to complain. I don't want to hear about your stupid genetics or your stupid thyroid or some other bullshit excuse about how you don't have time. You have the time. It has nothing to do with goddamn genetics. If I hear about genetics one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. When I started lifting, I was a 165-pound guy. If anybody saw my parents, nobody would believe that I'm their son, okay? I have defied what people would classify as genetics. I work with what my body gives me, and I keep working every day to improve it because that's the choice that I've made. If you're not willing to make that sacrifice and you're not willing to put the time in, then tough shit, okay? So from now on, you will get free advice on my channel, but if I am going to write plans that require nutrition and or workout routines, the only person who's getting that shit for free is my wife, okay? Friend, family, cousin, associate, anything like that, I'm sorry, but if you want me to put my time and effort to actually making, helping you get results, that's gonna require a little bit of money. I'm not asking for you to take a mortgage out on your house. I'm not asking for you to give up your firstborn, but this stuff has got to stop. I mean, we do the best we can to give you proper information, but to build a custom plan for a certain individual, there's no generic advice I can give you that's going to get you results. We're going to have to do a, an entire protocol for months to figure out what your body responds to and doesn't respond to and customize it to you and what works for you because everybody's different. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.